I know a lot of work went into it. With lots of lifting heavy things, and then the closer we got to film filming, I was allowed to run again, which was which sounds bizarre. Oh! Paul Meskel detailing his jaw-dropping fitness transformation for the highly anticipated Gladiator sequel. Lots of squatting, pushing, pulling. Like, it's nothing we didn't kind of um, change the wheel with it. It was, it was all kind of pretty standard in, in, in that regard, but I was keen for it not to look like like false or kind of overly aesthetic in, in any way. But I had one of the best trainers in, in Tim Blakely looking after me. People can decide what they think about it when, when it comes out, but there was a lot of work that, that, that went into it. I think, um, I think like, I don't have a lot of patience with that stuff and Tim, Tim, Tim knew that. So it was a kind of, a, the process was like a little, but often for four or five months leading into it. Hold together and when it charges, break for the wall. I feel strong and, and, and feel robust and be able to take the impacts that were inevitably going to come and as the film progressed. The Irish actor is flexing those robust muscles in a thrilling new trailer for Ridley Scott's historical drama, which picks up 20 years after the original. My name is Gladiator. And follows Lucius, a former heir to the Roman Empire, as he's forced to fight as a gladiator. I remember that day. I never forgot it, that a slave could take revenge against an emperor. To deliver for fans, I think the main thing that I'm excited about is kind of the homage that it pays to the first one, but also the kind of new direction that the, the film takes. I think it's well balanced in that regard in terms of the physical action of the film and the balance of the kind of political aspects of the film as well. Whose head could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. The star-studded cast includes Pedro Pascal, Denzel Washington, Joseph Quinn, and Connie Nielsen, who is reprising her role as Lucilla, Paul's on-screen mother. I'm in scenes with the great Denzel Washington and have made great friends with like Pedro and Joe and Connie and Fred. I think for a lot of us, especially the the the, the, the younger cohort of the cast, like we would easily say that it's, it's a job that changed our lives. Not, it, it definitely in the filming process and kind of at the precipice of it coming out into the world now, I think. We're kind of waiting with bated breath, but it, but it is, the thing that I, I, I keep coming back to is it's like, we've done it. We, we, we've gone and made it and no nobody can take that away from us. And we had the, the king that is Ridley Scott at the helm. Like, it's it's amazing. And it's a film that like lots of like men my age and, and dads can quote religiously. It's just been in the cultural zeitgeist for 20 years and there's not a lot of films that have done that, um, especially in this genre. So there's a healthy amount of pressure, but there's also a healthy amount of confidence from the people who've made the film that we, we are excited to kind of add the ne next installment to a film that has been and will continue to be incredibly popular. Paul was just a toddler when the original Gladiator starring Russell Crowe came out. Um, I saw it probably about 10 years after the release and I remember watching it with my dad and being absolutely blown away by it. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Gladiator was a blockbuster success, winning several Oscars, including Best Picture. Paul knows he's got some big shoes to fill. It's an immense honor, like it's not lost on me that that film is is hugely important to a lot of people across the world and for the great Ridley Scott to kind of pass the baton onto me is <laughs> is something that like uh, my drama school self or even the version of myself that was 15 watching the film for the first time could never have imagined but um yeah, probably one that of honor and like a great a great deal of pride, I think. Gladiator 2 will feature a major battle on and off the screen when it hits theaters on November 22nd, the same day as the highly anticipated Wicked film. Do you really think this is fair? I do not. Wicked doesn't really like roll off the tongue, does it? I, I, <laughs> I think I think my preference would probably be Glickid, but um 
kind of a if it has a similar effect to what it did for for um, Barbie and Oppenheimer, it would be amazing because I think I think that the films couldn't be more polar opposite and, and it worked in, in that context previously. So fingers crossed people come out and, 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 and uh, see both films on opening weekend.